Today I've got two mystery boxes from two different brands and we're gonna unbox them and see which one is worth your money. One of them is from Look Fantastic and one of them is from Glossy Box, roughly the same price. They are always a mystery, they're always very... I don't know what's inside so we are gonna dig in and see which brand offers you the best value. Just to give you an idea, this came from Look Fantastic and it came really quickly. The other one from Glossy Box is absolutely huge but i'm gonna start off with the one that came first so let's start i'm feeling like a kid on a christmas day this is what we have inside and but um but um oh my goodness there's a box in another box but it's even smaller so this is what we have this is what we have very pinky we are enough of course we are this is proper inception a box in another box i think this is the third box actually let's see Ooh, okay we have the empowerment issue blah 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 beauty box oh my goodness 20 percent off whatever that is and it looks very bougie look at this packaging i must say i don't have high expectations because the cost of these boxes was really low like unexpectedly low okay this is what we have so i'm gonna go through one by one and show you what i've got the first thing that i have is a styling cream from a brand called sasha Juan or Juan or something. I have no idea who is this and what is for. Never heard of this before. Made in Sweden. Okay. Okay. 125 ml straight or curly. So basically a styling cream for me. I need that. Oh, I think I do, yeah. Next up, we have a Star Skin Drink is Plumping and Hydrating Biocellulose Lip Mask. Sounds good. We have a very tiny guy, and this is a little Brilliance Facial Oil from Emma Hardle, I think. Emma Hardy. I think I've heard of this brand before. Facial oil, I guess. It's gonna make my skin even oilier than it is. That is great. Not that my skin is more oil, to be honest. Next up, I have a very tiny girl very tiny guy from the brand Espa or Espa refining skin polish so a little skincare situation going on okay most of them are like small sample travel size oh my goodness what <gasps> okay <laughs> i got really excited about the next product sadly it's just from a high street brand wet and wild and this is a little lipstick which looks really bougie i love the packaging the lips all of that jazz it's in the shade sandstorm it's a matte lipstick i'm gonna try to open it okay it's a very dark shade i mean it looks quite promising it's like for autumn i guess that's not gonna be in much use for this summer but i'm a big fan of the packaging rather than the color itself and do we have anything else i think i think that's about it the last thing that i have is a little brush prime vegan candy brush i mean that is cool i love a little bit of feeling because we all know they put these brushes just to add you a little bit of value even though you don't need that brush and yeah just to show you there's nothing left more just you know this silly packaging i would say the box looked much more exciting than the contents itself next up we have this huge ass box from glossy box and i'm a little bit scared to see what's inside ha we shall see i must say it feels really wrong like this i hope youtube is not gonna ban this video just because it contains a lot of violence oh okay hey, let's open this huge ass guy and see what do we have oh my goodness i got two boxes oh really look at that so i have basically i don't know if you can see but there's one and then there's a second box so thank you very much glossy box i did not expect this i'm just like oh it's it's i think it feels even more like christmas now if i'm being honest so this is the first one just to tell you i'm not lying they're literally two boxes and this is the second one i'm in for a treat i guess that's because you know glossy box is like a subscription type of box so they maybe try to lure me to get into their boxes i don't know i don't know Do you know i'm i'm loving this so much like it's so cute 
It's a box inside the box again. This is the first box from the glossy box. So the first thing that I see on the glossy box one is this little Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Booster Restoring Conditioner. And I think it's travel size. I mean, that's okay because I'm going to have a trip very soon. Next up, I have a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel the Aqua. So it's basically a little free sample of Neutrogena Moisturizer. I've never been a fan of this brand, but you know, a sample is a sample. Next up, I have again a Starskin VIP Gold Mask Eye. So in this one, I have a little eye mask, which is great. One for the eye, one for the lips. I must say, like the packaging is freaking cute. Like, look, I've got a little pinky bow. We have a little eye mask again. Oh no, that's a velvet powder puff. It is very funky packaging again. Nice. Next up, we have, oh, that is something serious, I guess. It's from a brand called Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And it's a little HD finish powder, high definition translucent powder. Now we're talking. Now we're getting serious. Ooh, the next up, we have a long lasting formula intense pigment velvet lip liner from Seat London. And I definitely heard about this brand. This is the lip liner. Oh my goodness, that looks like a color right out of my eye. Look at that, that looks impressive. It's definitely more impressive than the first one. And with that, the first box from Glossy Box is all unboxed. And next up, we are getting another one, which I still can't believe. And this is properly branded in their color and logo and all that. My goodness. Oh, I'm just a sucker of their packaging. Like, look at this. It's like I'm getting... The fanciest gift ever. Oh yeah. This looks pretty cool and pretty promising. Now the first that I have is a little stainer, like a little lip balm from the brand The Balm. Oh, that is awesome. I used to be such a sucker of their like makeup and I'm still a big fan of this iconic highlighter. So that's a freaking awesome start. And I really love the color, like type of like cherry. Oh, it smells lovely. Next, I have a big box, slightly bigger than the other ones. And this is a daily concept individuals who think in the shower daily around silicone scrubber okay so that's gonna help me to make myself cleaner because i'm not very good at that apparently anyway i'll try it i'm all for that next i have another thing which is from a brand called grace and stella spray all day rose spray hydrating facial spray which pretty promising again and the next step i think is the biggest thing from this mystery box which is avino daily moisturizing body lotion i'm a big fan of this brand i've been using their shampoos and they're so nice and so calming for the skin I needed a moisturizer and this is ideal scenario and I think the last thing that I have in this box is a little tube called night shift from a brand called wild scene renewal eye serum okay I'm gonna try it I'm up for trying everything everything that I haven't tried before skincare makeup bring it on and with that this is done let's draw the line so here's everything what I got from the glossy box, the two boxes, which is pretty good value for the price. I think this is pretty impressive. And here's everything from the book Fantastic. Not so impressive, I must say so. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner and the winner is Glossy Box! Yay! I mean, let's be honest, it was more expensive with a pound and it had two boxes and the value and everything I've got in that box is pretty impressive. I did not expect that. I thought it's gonna be quite meh, just like the look fantastic because, you know, if there was no much difference in the price, I kind of expected the same value. But Glossy Box proved me that maybe they're worth buying more of their mystery boxes or even subscribe although I'm not gonna go do that. I must say that I really like that both of the boxes contain like lip products and of course skincare. Last year when I got a box from Beauty Bay from this video, if you haven't watched it then go somewhere there down. It was pretty good as well but it was only their own brand which makes it less exciting. So do let me know if you like this video and do you enjoy these mystery boxes because I clearly do. So don't forget to subscribe, smash the huge thumbs up and see you next time. Bye!